was back in the wild again. Prospector trip here. How you doing, baby? Hey, we uh, <clears throat> we had to do some uh, modifications. I couldn't take it. The little uh, crusher is. She served well, baby. You served well, but now you're going into the. Oh yeah, into the resources, <laughs> the resource pit, <laughs> where all projects, such as yourself, go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby, but we're gonna borrow a few little trinkets from it. Ha 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 Yeah, had a big crusher. You guys were tired of playing with the little one. Yeah, so uh, it's just mocked up here, everybody. Just wanna let you know, 14-inch uh, drum. Uh, obviously, this is my old chain setup, but I can have probably uh, four links, I think. Uh, so it's gonna have a lot more swing out here, a lot more uh, crushing ability, I'm sure. Uh, <clears throat> gonna get some good uh, chain of some kind. Uh, I think the 120 uh, is the best stuff, but uh, gotta get some of that. And of course, uh, I just got the plate. Uh, basically, I just sprayed it so it wouldn't be embarrassingly ugly. Like most of my stuff, the motor is gonna be, of course, mounted up here. And uh, so the belt is not gonna be too awfully long. Uh, but the bottom line is I got a five and uh, five and three quarters, I think, pulley uh, to mount here. Uh, because I have so much more throw on my chains, I have to be able to gear this hog down a little bit. Uh, I think I got a one and seven eighths for here. Um, anyway, I'll mount it up here. I'm gonna weld all this stuff together. It's just all sitting here, literally. Uh, and then of course I'm weld on the frame, uh, weld these guys into place, mount the pulley in here you know, the five inch one, uh, you know, it looks like, oh, it's precarious. No, it's not really. Cause uh, these guys here, uh, I can just take off the front face here and pull this dude out once the pulley's loose. And so if I touch it, everything will fall over. So <laughs> I can't do that right at the second. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I took my shaft and of course those bearings that I, I had. And of course I bought this uh, piece actually down here, uh, this, and I got that one. Uh, which the bigger one of the two uh, is a piece is this. And anyway, I paid 20 bucks for those. And, uh, and of course ripped off my parts off of the little guy. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a few more little trinkets off this. Like uh, I'm gonna take this off and uh, probably this, I don't know, and then the rest of it I'll probably leave uh, in the pile there until it gets used for something else. Anyway, um, yeah, it's coming right along pretty good. I'm gonna cut out, of course, another one of these gizmos for this side. Uh, I might go with something a little bit heavier. This stuff's only uh, eighth, you know, but it's tough, man, and uh, and it's fairly light, all in all, considering uh, it's just uh, stainless, you know. I got a couple sheets of it, but uh, anyway, the bottom line is this, is uh, once this guy goes up here, I get that mounted up there, I think I'm gonna have me a good little crusher. It's gonna spin this direction with the motor, and so I'm gonna put the output uh, right about probably in here. I, I, want, I don't want it on the side totally, but just a little bit out of the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna put it there. I think I'm gonna actually do a screen system, you know, stainless steel screen that I can put in there. And I'm gonna mount two bars in here with, uh, of course, bolts. And then you just loosen them up and you can slide out the old screen, slide in the new one bolt those plates back down and then you got your new screen in place uh plus it'll give it a uh uh anyway it'll be nice because i can change them you know i can change it and can vary the sizes of whatever you know whatever uh, mesh i want um also the feed you know a lot of times they got them going in the back here and eh, it's pretty good and everything but i think what i'm gonna do is i like the top feed but i'm gonna cut this one at an angle and have it come out here i think because it's spinning this way. If you drop in a rock, you know, it can ding, it wants to go, of course, my other one's straight up, so it wants to go up. But uh, if it's this way a little bit, uh, it'll be a lot tougher. And I think, of course, it might go this way and then maybe straight up and then put a, uh, you know, a funnel kind of deal at the top, you know? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a major, major upgrade to, uh, to my little guy. <laughs> And so, uh, God bless you, buddy. I learned a lot off you. You need to broke a lot of stuff, and yes, you did. Yes, sir. A little bit of wear and tear in there. 
But uh, all in all, I think it'll last another uh, zillion rocks, I'm sure, if, if it got back in order. But anyway, this one's pretty heavy duty, quarter inch. And, uh, you know, this doesn't take too much of a beating here, so I'm not worried about that. But uh, this, of course, will take a little bit of a beating over the years. But I think it's going to be terrific. But anyway, that's about it. That's my update, baby. That's all I got. I've been working on it like a fool here for a couple hours, so it's not looking too bad on this beautiful Sabbath day. Oh my gosh, today. Yeah. It's like 60 and just absolutely terrific. Really good. I'm really happy about it. Yeah, beautiful day. God bless. Peace. I love you guys. Remember that? And we're on it, baby. We're on it. <laughs> Have a great day. Be safe. Bye-bye. Talk to me. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Let's go hunting, baby.